We are in Anacortes, Washington, and we are in the Washington Point State Park, where we... Mm, just Washington Park. It's a city park. Oh. Let's start the park. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You're playing a trombone. <laughs> um, why don't you start us off? <laughs> okay. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Okay. It's right by the by the sound, I guess, by Puget Sound. Say that. Puget Sound. Puget Sound. Well, hello everyone. We are here in beautiful Anacortes or Anacortes, Washington, and we are at Washington Park. It's a city park run um, by this city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're starting again. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Do you want me to start? Sure. Okay. <laughs> what could happen? <laughs> I've been drinking. <laughs> Hello everyone, we are here in beautiful Anacortes, Washington at Washington Park. Um, we are right across the sound from the um, San Juan Islands. We can actually see the water from our campsite and it's just beautiful. We are um, here kind of surrounded, you'll hear some sounds, we're here surrounded by some neighbors. We're in an actual park with some hookups. So. Um, we actually prefer to disperse camp, but every now and then you need a place where you can charge your batteries, fill your water tanks, and then it's nice, especially when you know you're going to have to do laundry or cleaning or maintenance, uh, that you have access to those things. And it just, it makes life a little simpler in between the challenges that are in dispersed camping, because it is challenging and it's beautiful. Uh, and we enjoy the, the solitude, but it is work. It is, and there are pros and cons. I mean, when you're here, it's just a little bit easier. Um, you have some conveniences. We can run our AC when we need to. We don't have to worry about battery power all the time or constantly be checking water levels, that sort of thing. Um, when so. we want to go to town, yeah, it's an easy road to town. Right. When we're dispersed camping, it could very well be a four-wheel drive trail. Uh, we, we bought the Jeep Grand Cherokee and modified it and bought this trailer for the purpose of being able to get off the beaten path but when you do that and you need to make a run to town well just getting to concrete might take you 30 minutes so there's an hour of your drive right there so this kind of thing just makes it convenient right and sometimes you just need to rest a little bit you just need a little rest and yes we actually rolled into town we had planned to spend four nights here for that purpose to rest and just to explore the islands a little bit do some kayaking um two we, things happened two things yeah we had a little repair that needed to be made and so we had to wait for a part and and then we discovered it's gorgeous it's gorgeous yeah so, and we thought this is a place we could spend some time yeah so why not stay here and have the part shipped here because we're enjoying being here um and it just made it it easy so we're, we've stayed here a little bit longer than we originally planned but um we 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 We've stayed in worse places. Yes, so, we have. Absolutely. Yeah, we've had fun um, taking the ferry over and exploring a couple of different islands. And even around in Anacortes, which is just the cutest town, I, we've mm -hmm. just fallen in love with it. It's um, kind of simple and quiet and people are friendly and we, we really enjoyed it. Absolutely. You know, we love, we love towns like Uray, Colorado. Uh, Bayfield, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. uh, and this one fits right in that category. It, it is, it is gorgeous. So. I think we could see ourselves coming back here at some point. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. just you know for an anniversary or something. It's kind of that you know quaint little place. So. Absolutely. So we figured tonight we'd shoot some video and talk about uh, some of the questions that we've been asked uh, through Facebook and as a result of folks watching the videos. And we'd also just talk about some of the some of the good stuff along with some of the hard stuff that mm -hmm. comes along with doing something like this. So um, why don't we start off with some of the questions? Some of the questions, okay. Well, one of the first questions we did get was, what do we do about church? And that has been challenging. Yes. Um, we're not, and especially this first six weeks, we were on a bit of a right. tight schedule. We were trying to get here by a certain time. 
Um, Jim has to fly home um, to Dallas for a few days, so we couldn't just linger everywhere we wanted, and so that meant we would be traveling on Sundays a lot. Um, church for us right now is strictly online. Mm -hmm. um, our church back home does an online service, so we can listen to that. We'll listen to it sometimes if we're traveling from location to location, not always on Sunday. Sometimes it's a Monday or a Tuesday. Right. It's whenever we're traveling. Hey, let's listen to the sermon. Um, I think it's been hard to be consistent with that. It's been hard to be consistent with anything the first yes. six weeks. Yes. But I do feel like we're hitting more of a stride and that that is getting better. And we are getting into more of a routine. So, and I think once school starts, and we're still kind of in summer mode, once school starts, we will get in much more of a routine. With the, everybody has to get up at a certain time and get their schoolwork done before the fun of the day and, right. um, or travel. So, yeah. so. So we hope to, in the future, uh, be able to plan ahead where we can spend Sunday at a local church mm -hmm. and uh, and just make that a part of the learning and the, the being a part of the community there. Um, but it, it has been a challenge up to this point. So yeah. Another question that we got, uh, Lindsay also asked, what about holidays? What are your plans for holidays? Well, <laughs> we You're don't looking know at them. yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we don't really know how that's going to work. Yeah. She was asking about Christmas and how... We would do that in gifts and that sort of thing. And um, when we figure that out, we'll let you know. That's we don't right. know what we're going to do. We think gifts this year will be more experience based. Right. It won't be things. We don't have room for things. It will be what kind of experience would you like to have? And we'll put money towards that. Or maybe we'll decide as a family, um, we to want give. one big experience or yeah. to give. Or, yeah. you know, we just really don't know yet. I'm sure we will. We will have something for the kids to open. They won't have nothing. But um, now, as far as where we will be, we will be on the road. Don't know where on the road, but but we will be on the road. The plan right now, and you know, we leave this in God's hands. It could change. Uh, there could be a need for us to return home. But for right now, the plan is for us to stay on the road. So our holidays will be wherever we happen to be at that time. And I'll be honest, my my dream Christmas is in the mountains, in the snow. You know, cutting down our own Christmas down tree, our own, and you know, <laughs> or not, or just yeah. decorating one that's growing next to us. That's even better, right? Yeah. You know, you so, know. so yeah. Thanksgiving will be uh, ramen, and no, we'll... no, <laughs> I have lots of burners, and yes. so I can cook inside and out. I don't know that we'll do a ham. I mean, you know, that would take. Well, we might over the we campfire. Might. We have Ooh. a we have a Dutch yeah. oven, and we've already cooked cooked a potato on it the other day and it was excellent yes, it was. um no i will say this there's an excellent chance that we'll start by eating some of the sides and then a little bit later the turkey right or ham. we'll fun. have that ready somewhere in there dessert will become available right. so yeah it could be in D phases dessert will probably yeah. be purchased so um yeah it will you do have to sort of even some of our nightly dinners it's okay here's you get to eat this while the other thing is cooking we don't always have room right. or we can't get it all done at the same time so We'll just kind of wing that and, mm -hmm. and figure out as we get closer what that will look like. But we will, you know, we'll do some filming and we'll do, um, we'll get back around to that. We'll yeah. let you know a little more in detail how it looks. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, another question was, uh, how many pairs of shoes was everyone allowed to bring? Um, that was a pretty easy one for us. Mm -hmm. Everybody got one pair of water shoes, one pair of hiking shoes. Um, one pair of snow boots and one pair of tennis shoes. Right, and a pair of flip-flops yes. for if we're at a yeah. shower or something, um, you know, at a pool or something like that, and we need flip-flops, and we were in some warm locations, and that was it. That was mm -hmm. what we have room for, and even some of that, like the snow boots and things are packed away on the top of the car right now. Yep. Um, we'll switch some of that out as we get into snow. Um, Ella keeps buying shoes with her own money, <laughs> but she has been cut off. I was like, there is no more room. Unless you want that under your pillow, no more room for shoes. That's right. But it has been harder for some of us than others. I am fine with the shoes that I brought. Jim's fine. James is fine. Ella is killing her. So, Lindsay, she's with you. It's killing her. She misses her shoes. Yes. And everywhere we go, she shops for shoes, and I tell her she's just torturing herself. Right. Because there's no room, but... Yeah, so that's kind of it. You have one pair of shoes for each purpose. You know, you look at the trailer behind us, the, the MDC AUS RV X15. It is 20 feet long when it's packed up to go on the road and 24 feet long when it is all spread out. 
we estimate well if we if you do the math just length times width we have 100 square feet but that's not floor space i'll bet there's 20 square feet of floor space right. so storage is extremely it limited is. now we purposefully chose a small trailer because of what we wanted to be able to do um, but yeah. there are sacrifices that go with that yeah and we lose because the top lowers um we don't we don't have any cabinets around the top sure. so we can't use the vertical space like you can on a lot of trailers right. um we lose that and and you know i don't know i'll get back with you at the end of it uh, so <laughs> and let you know we how, can already what tell I, you it's hard now it is interestingly hard. enough we packed to the gills and then as we've gone along it's almost as if some stuff has settled and we've found that we have maybe more room more than we realized as we figured out where the best thing place to put things yeah are. things have moved yeah. you know some things have gotten moved that were packed in cabinets to start with um we ended up packing some things we left our bikes so our bike helmets we left those as well and so we had a whole bag that was full of bike helmets and we took some of our clothes that we're not mm -hmm. wearing and we had you know warm clothes and that and we put that in there we've already switched we that pulled over. them out quicker than we thought yes, the swimsuits and shorts and stuff are packed away now so we got some of that out of the trailer that we're not having to to dig through every time it was 100 degrees when we left texas and we knew that we were going to the beach and that it would be warm so it was hard to plan for the cold stuff mm -hmm. um and yet we quickly dove into the cold stuff within week mm -hmm. two yeah. we were in the cold stuff uh, we have had numerous nights at 53 degrees. I don't think we've broken 50 degrees yet. Have we not? I, I don't, don't think know. so. I know I've been wearing a lot of layers and mm -hmm. I know I've bought a few extra, like, you know, something to wear around the campfire. Um, because that's another thing, sitting around the campfire is a very lovely thing, but you smell like smoke. You reek yeah. of smoke with your clothes and it linger. You can't get rid of it. And so, um, which is fine if you're on a two week camping trip, you know you're throwing it in there you get home you're gonna clean everything but when you live on the road you just don't want everything all of your clean clothes to smell like smoke right. and so or your bedding or you know the dog yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. so we have to be mindful of that and so we have campfire clothes and these will go in a bag I mean they go inside a ziploc bag inside my cabinet so the smell doesn't get on everything else mm. I mean they're just little things like that you have to think about um, or else we have because we have stuff stored in nets on the ceiling mm -hmm. and that stuff would just absorb Absolutely. the smoke it's not just the stuff in your cabinet so so what has been the hardest part for you from a day-to-day -day standpoint oh my goodness um because there's a lot there's a of lot hard. of them there there's is a lot, lot of hard. hard and there are a lot of days where i'm like i'm not gonna make it i'm I can't yeah. do this. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have both had days where we were like, oh my gosh, what have we done? What yeah. a mistake. What a train wreck. Well, you get tired. And uh -huh. I think it's in those moments of exhaustion when you just go and you're packing up again and you're moving and we have things. I mean, we have business we have to handle still at right. home. I mean, we have bills and we have, uh, you know, just all kinds of things that are coming up. It's not, we're not on vacation. And so we're still having right. to handle that stuff and we're still having to find ways to make that happen so it's just a lot of energy i think every little mm -hmm. thing takes a lot of energy so for me cooking i mean i love the outdoor kitchen and i i i enjoy cooking in these beautiful settings and um, when it's cold it's just more challenging you know i don't want to get out of bed because i have to get out of bed and the first thing i have to do is get dressed and some days you just it's just i want to have a pancake in my pajamas you know mm -hmm. like i miss just being able to linger in my pajamas but got to get up and get dressed yep. so i can get outside and cook yep. and so i think cooking but the hardest part i would think and we experienced that today it's the laundry and the beds the beds are a pain with a capital p to make yep. and it is normally i think you would just throw a sleeping bag up on the bunk beds probably even for our you know we might have like a, a sleeping bag or a double sleeping bag or something is what we used to do in the moby um but even sleeping bags are hard to clean they're hard to wash on i you know bodies get sweaty I mean it gets smelly and so we tried regular bedding and plus I didn't want to sleep in a sleeping bag for a year I wanted pretty bedding and pretty pillows we have lots of pretty pillows we do but this is our little home on wheels this is not lots of pretty pillows this is not there's a leather you know, pillow there's, there's a fluffy pillow there's that it looks really cute <laughs> it, and homey when it's it all made. It looks adorable. Yes, we have signs. We have all kinds of cool stuff, but 
Ooh. But making those beds is, I spent probably an hour today making our bed and helping Ella with hers. And Jim did the hardest part. He did James's bunk. We had to actually take the fitted sheet off and that I was, might be able to uh, splice I mean, in some video of that as we talk about this, and that's comical. It just was in really, you know, he's like head down under, and literally have to get under the mattress it's to get everything so attached. It's really hard. Under. So you think, well, I just won't wash the sheets, but then they start <laughs> to smell really bad, yeah. and I think I can't. You know, we got in bed last night, and we got home really late. I should have done laundry yesterday, and I got in bed. I'm like, I cannot sleep like that. You know, it it smelled bad. It, and it was just that might know. have been too much information <laughs> it just does. if you didn't wash your sheets for two weeks they wouldn't smell good either so what happens when you shoot a video and you're two glasses of wine in <laughs> but you have to wash the sheets and keep the floor clean i, sw I think i swept five times today I just... there could be some other issues involved there but uh it's, um, it's just so dirty. think about that not only okay so you don't have laundry you know at the house and we're used to that we're used to having uh uh, laundry right there handy well even that is is okay so we're going to drive from the campground to town mm -hmm. do laundry in the meantime she's grocery shopping uh there's there's the cooler but not everything will fit in the cooler so there's some stuff that needs to be kept cold so she comes back to pick me up all the draw all the clothes aren't dry yet so she comes on back to camp gets things put away but then she has to flip right back around to go get me in so things are just everything's just hard, hard everything takes longer than you think it's going to take and so you have to embrace i think i heard you say this either today or yesterday you have to embrace just slowing down and knowing that you can only do one thing at a time yeah and today i mean the, we have the kids help us fold the laundry but then one person at a time can put their laundry away and jim was making the bed and i mean i had to just wait until everybody was done with their part before yeah. i could do my part and you just you kind of shuffle around and the poor dog's just always getting shuffled. But. You, you quickly learn to prioritize each other's needs because if somebody's doing something, you have to wait. We, we try to think about what each other needs and, uh, and then, you know, make room for that. Yeah, so it's a learning, mm -hmm. a learning curve. But it is, we call the maintenance days where yeah. we just, okay, we have to go wash the car today. We have to go do laundry and do so when you watch our videos you see a couple of days of what's going on in that week but there's probably at least two days in each week that is just working mm -hmm. um there are going to be days and hours when i'm just working on editing videos coming up very quickly a big part of our day is going to be schoolwork. Mm -hmm. uh terry's going to be doing schoolwork with the kids because they still have to take care of that stuff uh, and then that's on top of the regular maintenance that goes on, so. Yeah, and it's a little overwhelming because it's a full-time job right now. You know, you wonder, yep. how am I gonna throw that on top of it, but. So maybe one of the last things, uh, the challenge of budgeting and finances. Oh yeah, we don't like, we don't talk about budgeting. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's, it is hard because not only is everything more expensive than we are used to and if you're watching this and you're from the northwest or even if you're from the northeast or pretty much almost anywhere but texas um you might be less sympathetic to this but for us gas was 275 what was a gallon of milk in dallas you know i don't know 253 dollars maybe and but here, it's, it's closer to five dollars yeah. a gallon and uh, the other day we were looking at buying um a squash and it four dollars four dollars and fifty cents a pound um so so two things happen as a result of that everything costs more than you expect it to cost and the other thing is because you we can't keep a lot of food here mm -hmm. we have a 65 quart cooler a 65 quart fridge freezer and then room for dry food um and that's not as much room if you have a pantry okay you're you're blowing past us in the pantry category we don't have a pantry we have a cupboard a little cupboard and, and a drawer, a drawer. Yeah, really so a drawer. what that really means is that we wind up going to the grocery store every three days every four days and what happens when you do that is you buy more Just think, well I'm, I'm, here. I'm here i need to get this while i'm yeah. here we're out of this or whatever so we've done we've tried to do better about once a week mm -hmm. but then it's a huge grocery run um yeah, that's been challenging because it's been about twice as much for groceries as yes. what we had been yep. spending at home. I think you said today we're at how much a week? We're at 250 a week. 250 a week for the four of us. And uh, and we eat pretty simple. 
lunches tend to be a turkey sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I mean, that's 90% of the time, that's lunch. Um, dinner is a bowl of cereal. Dinner Every is not night. a bowl I'm sorry, of cereal. Lunch, I'm sorry, I breakfast. I feed them. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast is a bowl of cereal. Sometimes we'll have pancakes. Um, sometimes we'll have bacon, eggs, that kind of thing. And then dinner. Dinner is our big meal. Tonight we had uh, fajitas. The kids had quesadillas, rice and beans, uh, chips and salsa were there. Um, I see hamburgers are on the menu. Terry makes pizza. Um, dinners are our big meal. So, But it, they're still simple meals because, again, it can be cold, it can be wet, um, and that's something that's coming. Is the yeah, big it's cold get and worse. wet? It's it is gonna get worse. So if I were to, if someone were to ask me, what are you? I'm not gonna say dreading, but what are you most perplexed about? It is the weather that's coming. It was mosquitoes because I was just afraid we were gonna get hammered, and now it looks like we're actually gonna fall right into that magical gap where, hopefully, knock on my mm -hmm. knee it it's won't be too, too bad, bad. Um, so for me it's gonna be the wet and the cold because you don't wear your boots in a trailer when mm -hmm. it's wet um, you it is hard to dry clothes get a towel wet from a shower and we've already experienced it might stay that. wet for a week I mean our towels are just staying wet yep. we can't get them dry you know we camped a lot right and we would throw our towels out during the day and the Sun would dry them you know even you know in the mountains you have to put everything up if you're gone during the day because it rains so often mm -hmm. but even just being in camp in the mornings and a little bit in the evenings we could get our stuff yep. dry but this it just stays wet so we're i mean oh i could i could hit a, a pitching iron to to the um to the sea right now and um and so the air where we are mm. uh and and of course you can't see it but i mean we have a complete canopy covering us of these uh, king pines and it is it is just it's dark and it's cool and it's damp and so drying things has been a real challenge um, one of the things that we'll probably try in the next few days is we brought the shower annex for this tent with the idea that we would put it up put a, a heater in the bottom of it and and hang things in there and we haven't tried that yet mm -hmm. but we're, we're we are trying things now to see how they'll work when conditions really are hard yeah because it's gonna get we haven't even had any rain we had a little yeah. bit of rain what two nights ago last night uh, night before night last, before last. Yeah. and that's the first rain we've had yep. and so we haven't had rain yeah. so we've just not worried about it but it is hard to keep so then you try to shower and you just don't have a dry towel to shower yeah. or, you know just cup yeah. towels you know trying yeah. to dry dishes and stuff so absolutely you know one other thing that somebody asked was about um just the the small uh, confines confines of the trailer yeah. and that you know that some people are thinking man i think i'd get a little tired of that tight space and there are days when it is frustrating and you're yeah. like, everybody's stepping on everybody mm -hmm. or on the dog um we've been outside a lot right now because right. the weather's been beautiful it hasn't been cold and rainy even when it's chilly we can put on warmer clothes we can get out so a lot of outside time right now we have a hammock up and that's james's favorite place i mean yep. he gets up every morning goes to the hammock and he stays there until time to go to bed like after dinner he just so he gets his alone time mm -hmm. and kind of away from everybody ella gets up in her bunk yeah and she can close the curtain there yeah. and she kind of has her private space there and terry and i tend to go for walks yeah or yeah. sometimes even like going to town to go to the grocery store yeah. jim and i will go and the kids will stay here and they have a little time in the trailer to themselves Sometimes Jim will take the kids to go play spike ball or something and I'll stay back. You know, just everybody kind of takes their time. And Jim's usually in the mornings, I would say, yeah. getting up before I get up, everybody. I, I tend to get up first. Yeah, and then I'll go for a little hike, take the dog for a walk, um, mm -hmm. and just kind of have that quiet time as well. Yeah, so I think everybody's kind of found their way to just kind of get a little a little quiet, a little peace. So. You know, what, that they've, we've found a way and we're finding a way with a lot of things. We're all developing systems. Um, the kids are, are so much more helpful now than they were just a month ago because a month ago they, they didn't know where they could step in and help. And now, I mean, today, they were a huge help with everything that we did. Um, we're, we're finding the, the best way to uh, handle every little task that comes up. And so those things get smoother. So, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, the challenges, but uh, almost every single day, with maybe an exception of today, actually. Although I had a few days in camp. I don't know working, if you saw anything amazing at the grocery store. I I didn't see. Any, well, I met some amazing people. I saw some interesting folks at the laundromat. Um, 
almost every single day we say we see something that just go makes you go yeah, That's yesterday incredible. I was thinking that as we hiked up to Mount Constitution and we're standing and looking over all the islands and I thought, man, it's so hard, but I'm here. Right. I'm, I'm here and I'm looking at this and I'm I'm doing this. And so... Um, the redwoods, the sunsets. Yeah, I mean... The sunsets here are amazing. Seeing the sea lions play. Um, and just, just hiking just together hiking, yeah. and spending time together around the campfire and, you know... Um, even the simple things, playing spike ball. We mm -hmm. played spike ball by the water, you know? Yeah. I mean, we had just this beautiful um, Little grassy setting. area yeah, right next to, play, to the, the sound. To play a game yeah. that we play all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, so there are positives, a lot yeah. of positives. And, and I feel like I'm getting more accustomed to life on the road. Um, yeah. It's still hard, but yeah. we're really only five weeks in. And I have to right. keep reminding myself that it's five weeks in. We're still... We're still learning. Yeah. And we're hitting a stride yeah. in some areas. And there are some areas that we're... It's still working out, but, um, yeah. So anything else you want to add before we close it out? You know, I don't know. Just, um, pray for us. Pray for us. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to make it through the winter. I am worried about the winter yeah. because we'll be inside a lot. I, I think there will be a lot of, um, you can do fun things in the winter, snowshoe and ski. And there are, it's not that we can't get out. It's just in the in camp part, mm -hmm. um, cooking, Cooking yeah. inside, I think, is going to yeah, get really that tight. That is going to get tough because mm -hmm. everybody's there, and I'm like, everybody's just going to have to go get in bed while I cook, and just kind of figuring out um, mm -hmm. the winter. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if you have, what we would really love for folks to do is get on our Facebook page and ask those questions, yeah. and and we'll do this again. We'll answer those questions. Um, we've enjoyed uh, the input that we've gotten from folks. And, uh, and I tease about prayers, but, but seriously, we always, you know, covet those prayers because, uh, you know, so much of this entire adventure was just placing ourselves in God's hands and, and letting him take us where he wanted us to go. And it has already led us to some amazing places. So, um, but, you know, for safety and for everything to continue working correctly and, uh, for patience and, um. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we like to hear from you. We Absolutely. Like, we love when you comment. We know you're watching. It keeps us connected to home. We enjoy hearing from friends and family. And um, and really, we've met some really neat people that yeah. um, we know are following now. And right. we'd love to hear from you and just, hey, remember Reconnect, when we met? Reconnect, exactly. Yeah, because yes. we just, part of what we love is, is meeting the people. So, yeah, send us those questions. Um, we just, we'd like to answer those for Absolutely. you. And, and know what you're curious about. So. All right. Y'all enjoy your heat. <laughs> <laughs> that was cruel. We'll cut that out. We'll, we'll just be here shivering next to our smoky fire. <laughs>